Hi, this is Kevin Patton with Gallagher Fluid Seals. Today, we are going to discuss O-ring squeeze and how it is calculated. As a percentage, O-ring squeeze represents the measurement of the deformation of a seal when compressed by mating hardware. Now, let's go through the four steps to compute O-ring squeeze. The first step is to determine the gland depth. Gland depth represents the distance from the bottom of the gland, or the space for the O-ring, to the mating surface. We will simplify this example by using a gland depth of 0.231 inches. For visual purposes, we will use a size 427 O-ring to calculate squeeze. The second step is where we find the cross-section of the O-ring. If the cross-section is unknown, lay the O-ring onto a level surface. Holding the O-ring steady, measure the length from the outside edge to the inside edge to find its cross-sectional diameter, also known as cross-section. The other way to calculate this is to subtract the OD less the ID and divide that by 2. This value also represents the cross-sectional diameter. Log the number onto your computer or a piece of paper. Step 3 is where we find the amount of squeeze in inches or millimeters. To quantify O-ring squeeze, subtract the complete gland depth from the cross-sectional diameter. For example, if the O-ring cross-sectional diameter is 0.275 inches and its gland depth is 0.231 inches, subtract 0.231 from 0.275. This compression value is the amount of the O-ring that is compressed by mating hardware. In this example, the value is 0.044 inches. The last step is where we calculate, then evaluate, the percentage of squeeze, which is very important to see if the O-ring will be ideal for an application. To compute the O-ring squeeze percentage, divide the compression value by the cross-section and multiply by 100. Using the numbers from the previous step, if the O-ring's compression value is 0.044 inches and its cross-section is 0.275 inches, divide 0.044 by 0.275. The result is 0.16. Multiply that by 100 to determine the O-ring squeeze is 16%. For reference, certain applications call for specific percent squeeze ranges. For face seal configurations, 20% to 30% is the target. For static male and female O-rings, 18% to 25% is the range. For reciprocating O-rings, 10% to 20% is the ideal percentage and for rotary O-rings, 0% to 10% is best. If the O-ring squeeze percentage does not fall in its respective range, change the O-ring size or find an alternate option. Thanks for watching our video on O-ring squeeze today. For questions about O-ring applications, or if you are looking to purchase O-rings, head over to our website at www.gallagherseals.com. Take care.